So before VDT, I've had experience on, t on stage. So like, I worked with um, Free With Sleep with Men and Girls Dance. Mm. I've done a show with Lise Michael. Um, I also go to like the lo a local um, dance school in Brighton. Through the space at that lower level. Recently, I have yeah. got in interest in contemporary dance and mm -hmm. like physical theatre. And looking back on Men and Girls Dance, it was a very similar process, I think. So I wanted mm -hmm. to experience that again. You're still keeping the eyes active, so, so as you go to the floor. I found out about the show from my mum. She was like, there's an audition for Vincent Dance Theatre. Like, showed me the audition, and yeah. it said it was an open audition. So I went in with my friend, and it was just like a workshop. You were leading it, and mm. we did, like, some improv stuff. Mm -hmm. We learned a, um, a, like, a little phrase. Yeah. And then what was really fun, I think, for me, was that you said create, like, a little, uh, like, a solo. Mm -hmm. And it was my first ever, like, experience going to audi on an audition and having to perform a solo. There was a bit of me at the beginning was like, oh my gosh, what do I do? Like, how mm. do I dance? And then we had to perform in front of everyone. Mm -hmm. What was it like for you working on this show? It was <laughs> a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I'd say it was very, very, it was very fun. Mm. It was interesting. It was sometimes intense. So I was in two days a week. I really like doing improvisation yeah. and creating things. But I think with new people and especially new adults who've got more experience, it's like, oh, am I doing it right? Am I doing it wrong? On the first day, I remember Charlotte was like, we're going to have, you're going to all be behind stage and then you're all going to go um, on one at a time and just do something. And yeah. I was like, what am I supposed to do? Yeah. And that was, I was really scared. But then like, as the weeks went on, we did more things like that. We did different things. Like it, it, the, the activities and the stuff that we did varied. I really enjoyed the seven weeks. How was it to work like collaboratively in creating things? Um, I think it's good because you get everyone's like points of views, you mm -hmm. get everyone's opinions, everyone's like ideas. Mm. And I think it's a really good way of making like a variety of different material and like mm. you put it all together and you've made like a big piece with all the different themes, like points of views and everything. Yeah. Whenever we had like an activity, I'd always have like a, a, like a theme in the back of my head of mm. maybe what it was supposed to look like or what mm. it could look like. Charlotte always is interested in like the meaning of something. So mm -hmm. She doesn't necessarily want the audience to not know what something means. Mm -hmm. In fact, very rarely does she want that. She often is very clear about what she wants it mm -hmm. to feel like or look like. When I was like doing movement or doing things, there was a constant like yeah. theme in the back of my mind of what mm -hmm. it could, like what it could be. But then there's also an idea that if there isn't, if you don't know what the theme is, it allows like the audience to interpret it for themselves. Mm -hmm. So I was there with my notebook writing mm -hmm. every, every, everyone's like moves and stuff. Yeah. Um, and so whenever like we did a run or mm. we like had set like a thing and we like mm -hmm. ran it, um, it was interesting because I could see how it developed and like yeah. I could see how it had been put together and how like Charlotte's like mind and her thought process mm. and how she like created things, which I thought was really interesting. For example, um, Charlotte and Janusz had like a piece and then she'd say, oh, do it here and like do it over here and then mm. you can, someone else can do something at the same time mm. and just to see how like you like layer things yeah. to become like a whole like scene and it's just gone from like two people have, two like pairs having two separate mm. things to a whole like mm. image and it's really just cool to see how it Yeah, she's works. really, she does that a lot, the, mm. the layering thing and then by adding two or three other things around it, it mm -hmm. changes what it means or... Yeah, so obviously like overlapping things are also like at the same time overlapping all these different like themes and mm -hmm. ideas yeah. and like maybe different people's perspectives. But then there were some points where like maybe they both connected and you're like, mm. oh, like maybe, maybe... And you like interpret it for yourself and like create a narrative. Everything was up in the air, like mm -hmm. there were lots yeah. of questions because we didn't know like how serious it was mm. and if I was to step in. So yeah. there was a whole day and eve like afternoon and evening where I was like like I don't know what's gonna happen. And I was yeah. questioning, I was thinking of all the different scenarios that could happen. I could step in, I could do the whole tour, I could mm. do one performance, I mm. could do no performances. Mm. Like there were all these questions. And I obviously it was amazing to be able to do a performance mm. because I had done all this like seven mm. weeks of work mm. and not sure whether I was gonna be able to perform it. So when I did find out that I was going to be doing like the first performance, mm -hmm. 
there was also a thing where I was quite stressed because Hannah has obviously done this, her material, for like weeks. Uh -huh. And I had obviously only seen it, but then it was an idea that I've got to like live up to her, their expectations mm. and not bring the whole show down. Yeah. <laughs> what, what I found really helpful was I did write everything down. So yeah. if I forgot, if I had forgotten anything, it was just all in my mm. notebook. Mm -hmm. um, so I could just look, refer to that and look back. I didn't find it as difficult to mm. pick everything up, but I, th no. I think that's um, was because I had been watching it for so long and it was already like in my mind. I wonder what part of the work you enjoyed performing or doing. My favourite part of the work was yeah. the crossings. crossings. I loved them. They were chaotic. Yeah. There was a lot of movement. It yeah. was lifts, which are great. And I think the crossings, especially with the background of the shooting and the war, mm -hmm. I think there was an idea of fleeing and mm. getting away. But then there's also that like thing of the adults trying to either stop you or mm. take you with like it was very confusing whether they were yeah. trying to help you or trying to stop you mm -hmm. from getting somewhere yeah. um and then like with the theme of like the bin bags and like trying to get your things mm. and whether the adults are taking it away from you because they don't want you to have it or yeah. because they're like want because it's dangerous or mm. there's definitely there's a lot of different themes what are the challenges or difficulties or even interesting things about working with not just performers but older performers mm, like at the beginning mm. when I was like oh my gosh these people have had so much experience like what if yeah. we let them down and we don't create a, like a yeah. good performance or like they're here to make a performance and yeah. what if we don't like execute that well or like yeah but then towards the end um it was really really amazing working mm. with people mm. who have such good ideas who have had really amazing experiences and have had all that um like have gone to dance schools and gone mm. and maybe done things that I want to do in my future mm. and it's cool to see that like happen like in real life like mm. in front of me so after Aurora is shouting go away mm. um and she's like she's getting very angry and upset mm -hmm. the kids then enter and we like slowly walk across the stage and we just stand there throughout the piece like the mm. kids have been like the um structure or like the poles mm. to the whole mm. like structure so it not collapses if yeah, that makes okay, sense yeah. and i think it ends with like the um children like in power and to mm. show that like we're our future you're the future what advice would you give to a young person who's going to do do this kind of stuff um i would just say there's no right answer i think i'd say like don't focus on like what it's going to look like mm. and what it's supposed to look like just focus on how it makes you feel and how mm. like there, there is no right answer and mm. just do what feels right well a while ago i didn't know i didn't want to be a dancer and mm. i didn't want to follow it i just wanted to do it as like a side <laughs> thing and have it as a hobby since i've been doing this mm. i have met people who have mm. been to dance schools i've like been dancing with people who have like um, goals to go and do dance mm -hmm. and I think that's definitely changed my mind that I want to go into the dance like, industry um, mm -hmm. and I want to go to dance school definitely um, after college. <laughs>